Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about our next machine, which is going to be the Fade Mill. Um, this machine is kind of different. It doesn't make any products related in the game, but it makes Fade, which is the basics of the game. So I'm just gonna start the game. I'm going to put one of the Fade Mills over here. And we're just going to put our ice cream maker there. So let's have a look what's going on in the game and what event are we having. Why did it say no event? Because I know that there's an event going on. So you just have to refresh the game and then we're going to have a look. So if I come over here and all right, seems like we're having a global truck event with 10 diamonds reward. Mm, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that because I really don't have enough time. Plus, I don't think I have a lot of products, but I can do that. I mean, I might do that. So let's just send a couple of trucks and I'm going to send these visitors away. As always, I never do anything. And I do like this kind of um, the check bar, the blue color check bar, which shows how many trucks you've sent. Now you don't have to go all the time over here to see. So it's really helpful. And yeah, so I'm having a boat as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this. I'm probably gonna do this anyway. I'm looking for XP for me. XP is a mean thing. I don't care about coins. So we're gonna ask for help on blue sweaters and I'm gonna ask for help on my garlic. And I'm just gonna plant all the things over here. I'm gonna do a couple of more trucks. Let's do this. And I need to get more honey bushes because my bees are not working. Look how peacefully they're resting. Come on bees, get to work. It's time for the work, not for the rest. You've been resting for a long time get up now come on all right there they go they're coming for their work and then my um squirrels by the way if you guys haven't noticed the time for the squirrels has been changed from two hours and 30 minutes to i think five hours now the peanuts will be um, produced five years um i mean five hours later but i still don't know why there's so many peanuts oh we're getting tapes i'm just gonna get all of those Let's see if I can get them. Yay! So many cool things. Gonna get all of that. So this person needs help as well. I just got a TNT from the mystery box, which is cool. And I'm gonna check. Nope. Where's the help? Where is the... Oh, it's a truck help. So let's see if I can do this. Oh, well. Yeah, I can do that easily. Yeah, and I just got a golden voucher. That's so cool. Awesome. All right, so I'm gonna do more trucks, uh, and I'm gonna skip that one. Gonna, oh no, I don't have any. Where's my pie oven though? Mm, yeah, there's my pie oven. I don't have any. What is this? Eggplant parmesan. Oh my god, I don't have any cheese left. This is so sad. This is the saddest moment in the game. I'm always running short of cheese, butter, cream, or anything. All right, guys, coming to the main topic of this video, we're gonna be talking about the feed mill. So let's just have a close look at the design this machine so the design of this machine looks really similar to the actual sauce maker I mean not really that similar but there are a few things that are very similar in between those two machines so basically this mach machine is a large wooden mixing pot there's a small wooden table as you guys can see there are a few keys on the beside of that and then there's a wooden mixing tower which you guys can see there's a silver gear above the pot so this is a very industrial like machine that you see in a lot of factories so it's probably not my favorite i'm not a big fan of these kind of machines i really prefer soup kitchen kind of machines but yeah the details are amazing and so not my favorite though now the mastery of this machine is really abnormal it's gonna need crazy amount of r's 120 r's for the first star 840 r's for the second star and 5,880 hours for the final star, which is crazy. It's not that easy. You're gonna, it's gonna take ages, honestly. I fully mastered my feed meal on level 84. But there's a fun fact here. Like other machines, you're not gonna get anything from the coins, from the XP and the truck orders. But if you get the first star, all the products are gonna get produced 5% faster. By the second star, they will be produced 10% faster, and by the final star, they will be produced 15% faster as usual as any other machines. Now, the thing is, the feed mill products are not asked in the boats, in the towns, and in the truck orders, so obviously it's the time that's going to get decreased. 
So here's my feed mill, which you guys can see is fully mastered. There's a big yellow star at the left side and the color has changed from gray to golden. So it looks really pretty with a star on it. And I've just made a lot of gold feed, which I'm gonna collect. So just three XP for each of that. Now, basically in Haiti, we have not one, but two feed mills, which I'm gonna be putting here. And both of them are really similar. You can also rotate them to the design that you want them to be. For example, I really prefer them like this, like their stars are actually together. I think to me this looks more better, but it could be different for everybody, of course. Now, a little background information. There are two feed mills. The first feed mill is gonna unlock it. Okay, fun fact. Can you actually, can you guys actually guess which of the feed mills I got first? It's a joke. You cannot guess because they are similar. So of course you cannot. Okay, so I was just kidding. Please forgive me or anything. The the first feed mill unlocks at level three, very low level machine, and the second feed mill is gonna unlock at level twelve. So the first at three and then at twelve. The first feed mill is gonna cost you only five coins, which is very cheap. And the second feed mill is going to cost you 3,200 coins on level 12, which could be a little bit expensive. Now, these machines are used to make feed for your animals. As I earlier said that this machine is not really important as considering it doesn't make any products. It isn't going to need um, for the trucks, for the boats, for the towns. It's only going to need for your animals. Now, animals are the basics of the game. Like, if you don't have milk, bacon, sheep, eggs, you literally cannot do anything in the game. You cannot make a lot of products. Then you cannot send trucks. You cannot do boats. You cannot play town. In this way, you cannot get a lot of coins. You cannot even get um, XP. So your game would be stuck. You won't be able to do anything. So I think this is like the most basic machine of the game. And everybody should have this. So I mean, of course, everybody have this. So I do recommend opening all the slots as soon as you can. Now, this machine, everybody has different aspects of. For example, what some people do, they don't open all the slots. They have like five slots in all the machines. And what they do, they have decided to make one kind of feed on one feed mill and the second kind of feed on the second feed mill. For example, they will only make the cow feed on the first feed mill and they will only make the, the pig feed on here. And then they will make the sheep feed on the first feed mill and they will only make the goat feed on the second. But my playing style is different. I really don't have any kind of that aspect what I do I randomly put the feed that I need but if you want to have feed faster then what you can do you can put both feeds together in both machines at the same time now for example um, as we can see the chicken feed takes a four minutes to be made and when when you make the one chicken feed it basically counts for three so you basically get three chicken feet now it's gonna get ready in four minutes and if I need more I'm gonna put it here that basically is gonna take eight minutes in total to give me six of the feet but what i can do i can put another chicken feed in this machine in this way in just in four minutes i'm gonna get six so this is a good tip here that if you need feed faster make sure you run both of the feed mills at the same time rather than putting all the things in the same machine so you have to put the feed in both of the machines so what i'm going to start doing i'm going to start talking about the um, feeds. I'm gonna tell you guys the levels, the time. Uh, basically, this machine is very easy to run. You're not gonna need any special ingredients. You're just gonna need a lot of basic crops. Now, the basic crops are in the game. Soybeans, wheat, corn, and carrots. These four, I think, are like the most basic crops. Wheat and corn, you can find in the paper very easily. Soybeans and carrots could be a little bit hard. They're not that common to find or even if you find them people will buy them so you have to be fast all right so the first item is the chicken feed level three it's going to take five minutes or four minutes on a fully mastered machine so there's not a lot of difference of time and it's going to need two wheat um one chicken no sorry one car not the chicken the next level six cow feed going to get ready in 10 minutes or eight minutes on a fully mastered machine so it's going to need one car and two soybeans make sure you have a lot of soybeans in your silo as well because it's an important crop the pig feed unlocks that level 10 gonna take 20 minutes or 17 minutes on a fully mastered machine it's gonna need two carrots and one soybean to be made the sheep feed is gonna need three wheat and one soybean it's gonna take um i think 30 minutes or 25 minutes on a fully mastered machine the final is the gold feed which takes a lot of the time um level 32 and it's gonna take 40 minutes or 34 minutes on a fully mastered machine. You're gonna need one wheat, one corn, and two carrots. I'm gonna put one. 
And the final product that we have is the Wheat Bundle. Now, the Wheat Bundle could be a very good thing if you want to fully master your feed meal quickly. Why? Because this is simple to make. It's just going to need a lot of wheat, which you can easily harvest or you can easily get from the paper. It's not a challenge. Secondly, it takes one hour and 30 minutes just to make one, which counts for three, of course. So imagine you just fill all your slots with this if you're not playing the game for days. And this way your feed meal will be running and... Yeah, this will be very easy to fully master. But the thing is, when I was fully mastering my feed mill three years ago, at that time we didn't used to have the feed mill. Uh, I'm sorry, the weed bundles. Weed bundles were added into the game back in 2017, June. But my feed mill was fully mastered before June 2017. I am um, I was on level 80, I think, at that time. I fully mastered my feed mill. So and now you guys have a good opportunity if you want to fully master your weed bundle quickly. I'm not sure on which level they unlock, but I think they unlock at the time when you unlock your sanctuary. So that's probably town level three. Now the R's for one machine will be equal to the other machine. What do I mean is that it doesn't matter if you run both of the machines, it doesn't matter if you run only one feed mill. For example, if you run your first feed mill for, let's say, um, 10 R's, now those 10 R's will also be counted on your second feed mill. But if you run both of them together, so the a collective time will be um, for both of those machines. So if you want to fully master, then it doesn't matter if you run them like you only run one feed mill or you run both feed mill. It does not matter because the time will be similar for uh, both of these feed mills. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come over here to the shop and I'm going to show you guys the prices. Although I don't really recommend selling feed. It's not basically a problem. You can sell if you have any extra chicken feed is actually a good way to make money. A lot of people sell that. So the feed is not even expensive. So I don't think you should sell that. Probably it totally depends on you. I can't say anything. So 10 for only 144 coins for the goat feed. Chicken feed is one for only seven coins and 10 for 72 coins, which is exactly as your um, corn and then we have the wheat bundles. You can sell wheat bundles to make a lot of money because you're eating the sanctuary. 10 for 5 and 0 coins, I think similar to the white sugar's price. 1 for 50, then we have the cow feed, 10 for 144 coins. 1 for 14 coins. And then we have, let's see, I think we have the pig feed. Um, so I'm just going to come down over here to, yeah, we have the sheep feed, 1 for 14 coins, 10 for almost 140 coins. And then let's see. All right, I'm not seeing the pig feed. Okay, so, oh, I have 15. Yeah, so we're gonna see our pig feed over here. Okay, so um, 10 pig feed goes for 144 coins. I think that's similar to the, um, the sheep feed. So one for 14 coins. Now the prices are very low, but if you wanna sell them, especially if you're, if you're on derby task, your neighbors can actually help you to get the feed. Um, because when you're in derby task, the chickens help you to complete the task faster. So in this way, you can make a lot of the chicken feed. It only gets ready in four minutes. It's not a lot. And this machine could be a little bit challenging to fully master. So don't worry. Just keep making feed. It's a very natural thing that this machine will be fully mastered by the time. I mean, you're always going to have to run your feed mill to get the products from them and then to make other items in the game. So it's a necessary thing that you will always run your machine. But if you want to fully master it quickly, then you can make the wheat bundles, which take a lot of the time. So I think that was it for the feed mill. Um, again, I don't really, I can't say this is my favorite machine in the game, but it's very important. Of course, it's like the basics of the game. If you don't have the feed mill, you literally cannot do anything else in the game. So that was it for the feed mill. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Haiti videos I'll be posting. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.